This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. I call this stitch waffle stitch. I stumbled upon it accidentally. I'm not saying I invented it though. Machine knitting's been around so long that the chances of anybody really inventing anything new are kind of slim. Anyway, this is a great stitch if you need thickness. And it's basically a one by one rib with a little tuck variation. Let's do a little bit of it. My needle arrangement is one by one, that is knit one, pro one ribbing, with the end needles on the main bed. And I just go across and back here just to line up the needle. Then I'm threading this bulky machine with some sport weight yarn. Now there is no patterning necessary for the stitch, although you can make it a little bit easier by having patterning. I start with my zigzag row. I'll put a clothespin on the end. I'll hang a river comb. I'm just using a short river comb. I really like this stitch on a standard machine and as a matter of fact I really like it for baby blankets. But it's kind of a thermal looking stitch. It, it really reminds me of the stitch that they use for long johns. And I'm going to go ahead and put one of the large ripper weights on. I'm doing my circular selvage now, setting the machine for circular and making the tension a little looser. Then I'm canceling the circular and I'm going to set it on tension to main bed and ripper. Now this is so simple. You knit two rows. you change your main bed setting to tuck. Now to do that with this machine, all I'm going to do is push in the two tuck buttons. They say tuck on them. Then you knit two rows. See, instead of knitting, it's just laying the yarn in that main bed stitch. Cancel tuck. I use my cancel button, knit two rows, put the two protect buttons in again, knit two rows, cancel tuck, and you keep doing that, two rows with it tucking in both directions, two rows of plain knitting, until you get to the length you want. And then you just do an ordinary one by one ribbing cast off. I'll do a little bit more length on this and then show you that cast off. When I think it's long enough, then I finish by doing the two rows of plain knitting and I don't switch to tuck. I'm just going to do one row with a really loose tension. In this case, I went all the way from tension 2 for my sport weight yarn to tension 8, and I knit this one loose row. Now I'm going to grab my double eye tool and transfer all the stitches up to the main bed. I have this funny little shortcut that I like, that I think other people think is just weird where I put my stitches up into E position and then do the transferring. When all my stitches are transferred from the river bed to the main bed, I'm going to cut the yarn That'll be my tail that I pull through at the end. I'm going to drop the river bed. Bring all the needles out to hold. I have too much weight on this sample, so I'm taking my big, big weights off and just pulling the sample off as I bind off 
doing a loop through a loop cast off. Get to the last one. At that point you just pull the, the loop through. Here's my sample after I bind off. I've got this nice thick insulated sort of weave. It would be really good for clothing that I'm planning to layer against the cold.